Miss Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a, a drape, a side drape to a dress. So, you can see from the picture that I have up there, how to actually do this triangular drape. I think that's what I should call it. I actually don't know what it is called. In case you know, please, you can drop it on the comment section. I really don't know what it is called. That's, I'll search through my books that I couldn't find it. So, just let me know in the comment section. So, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And in doing this kind of drip, what you are going to consider the measurements that what you are going to be using, you could see that most of them they actually always start from the waist part. So what you are going to do for the length, you are going to place your tip and then you are going to measure it to the hemline, to the down part where you actually want it to get to. So mine, I'm going to be using 50 inches. That's from the waist down to 50 inches that's what i'm going to use for the waist and then the next thing you are going to determine how wide you want it to be so for that i'm just going to determine the measurement myself so if you have not subscribed to my channel already i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update okay so now let's just get started so i actually got this doll okay so i actually got a doll face satin that's what i'm going to be using so i got three yards of doll face so I'm going to show you how to fold it and then we cut it out right now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fold. So I got crinoline. So I'm going to add this crinoline to the down part of my drape. So here we go. I got three yards of dog face. I've said it before. So I'm just saying it for those people that will keep asking how many yards did you use? So I'm just going to fold it like this, like a triangle. I'll just fold it at an angle. So the next thing, I'm going to check my length. So you see how I folded it? I'm actually going to cut out two pieces of this because I'm going to turn it so it will be bulky. So for the down part, I have about 26 inches, so but I'm going to be making it of at least 25 inches. So the next thing, so for this part, you know this part, I'm going to be holding this part like this. So, so I think it's okay. Okay, so now we're going to measure our 50 inches. So for my 50 inches, I'm going to start from this side, the lower part of my triangle. It's actually a right angle triangle. So this is 50 inches. Okay, so this is 50 inches from that tip to those parts, to the top part of my satin. So I'm just going to mark it like this. And then from this part, so I'll just turn my tape now. Because I want to get, get the inches, I want to get the curve nicely. Okay, so it's about 51 inches. I think it's still okay. So I'm just going to keep measuring, like I'm measuring a flame. I'll just keep rotating on this line. Okay, so you see what I have at the down part. So I'm going to cut it from this down part. I'm going to open it up and see what I have. Okay, so you can see what I have here. So this is actually one piece. So for this top part, if you don't want this part to be bulky like this, so you can actually decide to, to reduce it. Okay, I'm so sorry. I actually did not um, tell you the measurement that I used for that part. So I'm going to measure it now and tell you. So for that top part, the top part was folded at 11 inches, while the down part was folded at 26 inches. So this top part, you can decide to reduce it. So I'm going to cut out the second piece now, and then I'll show you how 
to stitch the crinoline on it and then we'll turn it and iron it out. Okay, so welcome back to our table. So I finished cutting them. So this is one piece now. This is the down part of one piece. So here is how we're going to start sewing. So this is the wrong side of my of my satin. So let me just take it from this part so you see it properly. I want to use okay. So this is the right side. This is the wrong side. I'm going to take it like this, and then I'm going to place my crinoline here like this. And then I'm going to take the second piece. So now this is the second piece. So for the second piece, you're going to do it right side facing right side. So I'm just trying to turn the fabric nicely. Okay, this is the right side. So you're going to take this other side like this is right side, right side. I'm going to place them like this together. And then I'm going to stitch. It's just like I'm joining both of them at the down part. I'm joining both of them. So why the crinoline is on the outside. So I'll join them round and then once i'm done i'll come back and show you okay so you see i finished stitching it along the line so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to i'm going to take one piece of this so i'm going to try and top stitch it from the inside so it stays down nicely so i'm going to turn this part like this And then I'm going to stitch it down along this part so it stays down permanently and nicely. So you can see what I'm doing. So it's like this. So you see I'm bending it like this. So from the right side, I'm going to stitch. Why I'm stitching it from the right side is because I want to have control of the neatness of my I want it to be straight and neat so that is why I'm going to be stitching it like this from this right side so I'm just tucking it in using my hand to Make sure it is neat. I want to you see how it is looking flat and straight now. I want it very straight. I want my stitch to be very straight. So I'm just going to keep doing it until I'm done. Okay, so I finish stitching it so you see. It is looking very beautiful. So you see it's flat down straight. So you can iron it. So the next thing we're going to do now, I'm going to join the sides of this. So I'll, I'll turn it back. So because it's iron and top stitch nicely, you really don't. I'm just going to go ahead now and just stitch it down following the path. So you just follow this part where it is tilting to so you see it is already folded because of the top stitch is already folded to this part like that so you are just going to take it that way and then you are going to stitch so you see it i'm just going to stitch it on the both side but the top part i'm not going to stitch it that's where i'll turn it from so i'll go ahead finish it and then come back and show you the final look of it okay so welcome back so i have finished stitching i finished joining everything together so you could see my drape so now i'm going to show you how to attach it to your to your gown or your dress so this is the waist it's usually done around the waist area so you see the end what i did on this part i just folded it and then just finished it neatly and nicely so you're just going to take it like this and then you are going to pick, that's the waist part, and then you are just going to pleat it a little bit. So it depends on how much pleat you want. You can decide to just pleat it like this, or you can decide to spread it out more. It depends on however you want to 
split it and then you use a needle and thread to attach it so you can use it to do a top stitch because the top is finished nicely you can just use a top stitch to attach it and then after attaching it so you see how it is looking beautiful on the gown so thank you so much so if you find this helpful you can see it is looking so beautiful so if it's if you find this helpful so because of the crinoline so you see the bulkiness at the down part so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video the next time you are going to see it on me thank you